Now you've probably had diarrhea before, but have you ever had C. diff diarrhea before? If you have, you'd know it. C. diff is short for Clostridium difficile, which is a bacteria that can cause severe diarrhea and inflammation of the colon called colitis. Even mild cases of C. diff can be pretty severe from the patient perspective with potentially dozens of liquid bowel movements a day, often with associated abdominal pain and sometimes nausea and vomiting. These bowel movements can happen day or night and are known for smelling particularly foul. C. diff infections are most common in hospitalized patients or individuals in and around the healthcare system. And another common risk factor is antibiotic use. Antibiotic use can kill off both bad and good bacteria in your gut. Gut. This can result in an imbalance that allows C. diff to flourish and potentially cause severe infection. In addition to frustrating symptoms, C. diff colitis can cause pretty severe effects on the body, ranging from kidney failure to even shock. We typically diagnose a C. diff infection based off of stool tests in the setting of symptoms that fit with the disease. And then we use blood tests to help us determine how severe the disease is. The severity of the disease determines how we treat it. A typical C. diff infection can be treated with medications, including flagyl, vancomycin, or fidaxomycin. Vancomycin and fidaxomycin have been shown to work best, but they can be expensive. In more severe cases, we need to give either IV medicines or rectal medicines, and in the most severe cases, sometimes surgeons have to completely remove your colon. One of the newer treatments for C. diff is particularly wild. It's called a fecal transplant. This is where stool from another individual is actually given to the sick patient, either by colonoscopy or by a poop capsule that you swallow. You can learn more about this in my weekly newsletter for this week. The fecal transplant procedure is approved for recurrent C. diff, meaning if you've failed medical treatments already. Unfortunately, C. diff can be hard to get rid of, but these fecal transplants are showing great success so far. Comment below with any questions and let me know which GI disease to cover next.